Hey everyone, welcome to Job Forum. My name is Kimberly, and today I'm going to walk you through how to find the IP addresses of your form respondents. So I'm in my dashboard, and for this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to identify the IP addresses. For this, I'm going to use the contact information form. I'm going to click on more, then we're going to head to our submissions table. So we can see it right off the bat, we have submission date, name, email, how to support, choose your file, and then a unique ID widget. But if we come up here to columns, we can do a drop down and we can see that there's some other columns that we can choose and one of them is the IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and click on submission IP and we can see the IP address of these people. Now the second way to do this, I'm going to head back to my form and I'm going to edit my form. And we're going to have their IP address sent to us with our autoresponder email once they finish filling it out. So I'm going to come up here to settings and then over to emails. So you can see we have the notification that's going to be the one that's coming back to me letting me know that someone did fill out the form and then the autoresponder is going to the person who filled out the form. So with this first notification, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this pencil. And then within the body of the email content, we have all these things to play with, including the form field. And if we click on form field, we can see all the questions that they answered, plus some additional ones like the IP address right down here. So before I click on that, I'm just gonna come over here and say IP address, and then I'm gonna come up to my form field and then put IP address and then hit save and then we're good to go. So I can either find the IP address within the submissions table by adding that column, or I can put their IP address directly in the email that I receive from JotForm once someone completes the form. So if you have any questions about those columns or about an IP address, put it down below in the comments and I'll see you later.